Well, a new study is giving us some insight into what it's like to go through a near-death experience. So with us to explain a little bit more is our health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. Tell us a little about the study. This is fascinating. Incredibly fascinating. And, and us in the medical community, for the longest time, we thought if somebody had a cardiac arrest, in other words, if their heart stops, we thought their brain just stopped. But this study is really flipping that thinking on its head. It's telling us that brain activity suggesting awareness can happen for 30 to 60 minutes after a cardiac arrest. And 40% of people who survive CPR with an in-hospital arrest actually recall what they experienced when they had this near-death experience. Wow. Yeah. Does the study also look at the idea of learning during cardiac arrest? Yes, very difficult thing to study, as you can Why? imagine. But what they did is while these people were in their cardiac arrest, they actually had them listen to words, and the words were apple, pear, banana. And they actually had images that flashed in front of them as well on a tablet. And, you know, of the few people that survived, some of them actually recalled the sequence suggesting that their perception, their ability to hear and make memories was actually intact. I want to ask you a little bit more about that because I was reading through the study and one of the doctors on this case said that the patients had, quote, transcendent recalled experiences of death. What exactly does that mean? Yeah, so what we saw of the people that survived, there were a few different categories of experiences. So some people saw dead relatives talking to them, communicating with them. Some people had this sort of emotional, overwhelming type of peace or calm wow. experience that they had. Other people actually had frightening experiences. They had delusions of demons or something else. And then a few subset of people actually left their body. And this was when they were emerging from the coma. They were emerging after CPR and saw the medical team shocking them, doing treatments on them, and they were able to recall all this. So what we're realizing is that the brain, even though it was deprived of oxygen, so if you looked at the oxygen levels wow. in the brain in the study, very low, was still functioning as a computer and making networks, and these people were able to recall these experiences. This is, wow. I am so interested. We could go down a rabbit I, hole with my question. Was it, was it a common experience amongst a lot of people? Like, like the scenarios you just described, was that, were those the most common things, or? They were, but it was very varied. And what I don't want us to think so much about is the experience itself, yeah. but more the idea that our brain stays alive, right. even after our heart can kind of stop. Now keep in mind, this was in hospital cardiac arrest. So all these people got very high quality CPR. Sure. So well, we don't know what would happen out in the community, especially if you don't get CPR, because the brain needs blood in order to even function at all. And so if you're not getting CPR, you probably, it would just shut off. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's really fascinating also because a lot of survivors of cardiac arrest we know can have PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. And some of these experiences that they had could be what's partially contributing to how they feel after their particular rest. Okay. I was just going to say, like, how does that end influence right. your next steps and that helps explain that. And yeah. we just have about 20 seconds left, but one thing I, I want to make sure we include in this is this really highlights the importance of something like CPR, right? To know yeah. that somebody's brain is still functioning during that time. Critical, critical. Yeah. Because you're not giving blood to their brain, you could entirely, of course, change their morbidity and mortality, but also if they do wake up and emerge, you could change what they remember and what they feel. So that brain is still working, keep it going with the blood. And to me, it's a really incredible study. Opens the door for many more like this to learn about awareness, especially at the cusp of life and death, which yeah. we know so little about. It's crazy to think wow. this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the study. Wait till we find out even more, right? I could talk to you for hours about this. <laughs> <Dr. Coley. laughs> but we are out of time. Thank you so much. <laughs>